Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new review of the pa latest Patrones um, issue, issue 443. It just arrived in the um, digital application, in the uh, app, in the Patrones app on my tablet. So um, I wanted to show you what is inside. The cover is really nice and pinky and very um, spring colors, really nice. I really can't wait for the spring to arrive. So let's take a look what is inside. Here is the um, content of the magazine. Further, the first um, pattern is a dress shirt or a shirt dress, dress, dress shirt from Ralph uh, Lauren. Nothing really spectacular. It's made in uh, this one. It's made in um, uh, what is this? Is a suede fabric. But they do give here some um, different kind of um, alternative uh, fabrics that you can use. Next, I, when I see this, I really see this like an Instagram uh, outfit. You have the pleated pants, you have the cropped tank and you have the robe. I think the robe is quite nice. The, what can I say about the top? The top is pretty basic. It's made in a knit fabric and the, the pleated pants, which are kind of really in trend right now. With welt pockets. Oops, sorry about that. And the pleats in the front and a high waist. Um, these patterns, they are all in sizes 36, 40, 44 and 48. And if you want to have a size between, you have to blend between the sizes. Next is a shirt, a basic shirt and a bias cut skirt, both made in satin. Here is the skirt, you can see it with the seam in the front and in the back. Next. We have a blazer, a bias cut uh, top and a pair of uh, shorts. I will say that from all this, probably I'll be interested in the top, but then again, you know, probably a little bit better work on fitting this, uh, this poster that should be somewhere here. Anyway, let's go further with the patterns. Um, I really like the racer back on this top. It's quite nice. The top is made in cotton, as I said, and is also cut on the bias. Let's see further. We have a blazer and again a pair of pants. As you can see, I'm not really excited about the patterns. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice line uh, blazer. Further, we have a top and a skirt, and it's a basic pencil skirt. The top has some interesting uh, sleeves, which also, in this case, the top is quite bad fitting on this mannequin. I mean, it's really pulling to the back here. And is actually also very much pulling in the neckline here. And I did check the pattern a little bit. Um, the upper part of the sleeve is just wider and is getting uh, gathered into the cuff. And the cuff has also, let me pick up my pencil. It has some buttons here. You can see the buttons also here. Okay. The next pattern, this is something cute, I can say. I kind of like the this uh, whole suit uh, idea with the skirt. I like the skirt with the uh, with the pockets here, as you can see, and there are some nice details. Not something that I will make very fast. Next, so this was the fourteen and fifteen. The next patterns we have a we have a dress here, and I did take a look. In the pattern pieces and it's kind of the as you can see also here we continue seeing the trend with the shoulder pads i still need to make i have no garments made with with this uh, trend but um 
yeah, it's uh, it's something that we see on every sewing pattern magazine. Let's take this out. You can see the dress a little bit better here. And this front part, this is really is cut double layered and it's really um, I think it's coming with buttons on the dress, like real or something like that. But it's I wonder if it's detachable, but because it's really cut uh, double layer that uh, front piece. The next pattern is this red dress. And I really don't understand why Patronus is doing this. It's not the first time that I see this. It's obvious that that this, and I'm going to change my color. It's obvious that this fabric is, um, it's, or the, the top is a knitted top. It's not uh, something that you, is sewn. And how you can see that, well, you can really see here the increases and decreases. These little points. This is really not a top that is made... Uh, with the sewing machine. This is the shaping that you get using the um, when the top is knitted. But uh, the pattern is given, uh, you see in the pattern they have, I'm going to take this away, in the pattern they added darts and you have darts here and you have also darts here in the middle to create this shaping. And then uh, this is like a rectangular piece that is going sewn uh, all the way around. And the skirt part is just a uh, rectangular piece of fabric which gets um, um, gathered onto the top. But again, the look is going to be a little bit different and I wonder how good it's going to sit on the shoulders. The next pattern is actually a little bit the same, but in this case it's just a basic uh, t-shirt with a rectangular piece of fabric for the skirt, which is getting gathered here at the waist, kind of a low waist actually also. The next uh, dress, this is something nice. I don't know, it's, it would be really nice for a young girl, not really something that I will wear very fast, but uh, it's a nice uh, dress, it's made in a cotton voile, perfect for the summer. The next pattern is just a basic uh, tank top dress, with um, some frills here at the hem. Again, nothing special. This red dress looks uh, interesting. But um, yeah, it's also a simple pattern. It's cut on the bias with the seam in the front and also in the back. And as you can see here, you have a tie. It's actually sewn into the seams here at the neck. But this is, uh, this is also cut in on the bias, so it will be fun to cut, to stitch this. You need to be very careful not to get all kind of uh, drag lines in the seams. Next, we are all in pink. Pink is the uh, color of the year. It's a basic uh, coat. And then a shirt with a pair of joggers made in crepe. And I wonder if there is elastic in the back. I cannot see. Of course, it's again such a picture that you cannot see much. With some uh, pleats here in the front. And I like the whole outfit. Nothing spectacular. The exception of the color, of course. Next, we have a little bit more pink. A pair of uh, cropped pants and uh, another blazer. Again, not so much to say about it. And the pants with the white, white waistband. Nice and pink. And a little bit more pink. Actually, I kind of like this, um, this little blazer. This one. Let's see if I can put this a little bit bigger. I like that they added a little bit of shaping here and unfortunately there is no picture of the back here but in the instructions you always have a picture of the back and the joggers are also nice. I like the pockets and again those little pleats here and the gathering in the at the hem. Although I wonder... Oh, and as you can see here, you see a little bit of uh, a tunnel here in the waist. 
let's see and you can see it here a little bit better that those ties are um, coming into a tunnel and then everything is fast enough in the front that's nice all right the pens are nice and then we have um, the perfect skirts this is uh, a skirt with a kind of ruffle at the waist with some interesting um, seams here as you can see and the princess seams here is another skirt and this one is made in uh, in leather or in faux leather this one is nice it has all kind of um, um, stitch uh, top stitching lines and um, I think it's also cut it's interesting because you can see that this pocket is actually an insertion into the skirt that's, that's kind of nice and I really like this uh, um, waist detail all the seams so that's a nice skirt let's see further we have another skirt and I think this is my this is a ponty knit skirt I don't know how you get pleated something like this and here is uh what is this oh this is interesting this is i see it now you can see here there is a zipper in the waist which probably is going all the way to the let's see here if we can see better oh yeah uh, i wonder what is the construction of this because here is looking interesting you can see there is a zipper here and the zipper comes all the way to this point, but it's probably going around the waist. You will need a really long zipper for this, but I like the detail, it's interesting. And then we have the, the curvy sizes in the patrones of this month. This is a, again a robe, all the, the robe and the pants. They are using around five meters of fabric, I did check. I really like uh, this. One second, I like that the front is flat and the back has elastic. That's a nice detail. And the sleeves are really, really dramatic here in the robe. Probably it's really easy to sew also. These bands are cut double and then are stitched onto the body piece here. Okay. And then we have again a basic shirt and then another pair of pants. And we are almost at the end. Here are, so, are some uh, kids patterns, uh, four, six and eight years old. Nice dresses again for my daughter. They are already way too small. Kind of pity that they don't make a little bit teenage patterns. This one has nice uh, details around the neck and around the armholes. And here a funky dress for a little girl. And that was it. These were the patterns from uh, Patrones 443. To be honest, there is not even one pattern that gets me excited to say, oh, I really want to make that one. I kind of like this, um, this top. And I think could be nice for the summer. I'm really bummed how bad this one fits actually in the in the pictures with the neckline that is way too too high and the armhole that is pulling. But then again, the things are not made to measure for the mannequins. Let's see. And for the rest, yeah, what can I say? I can't wait for the next month. I hope you enjoyed my video. In a few days, I will post the Burda and then the Knip Moda magazine. Happy sewing, everyone. Bye.